Hello and welcome back to EAC, and today I'm here with my friend Ben, Hi. and we are doing a review on The Witch, which we just watched, and um, so this was your first time seeing it, this yeah. was my second time seeing it, I saw it over the summer this year, and I really liked it, and that was part of the reason why I went to see The Lighthouse with you, mm -hmm. uh, you saw it like before you saw this, but yeah. so you saw The Lighthouse. I saw like this. a ton of clips uh, of The Witch on yeah. YouTube, so I kind of knew what was happening, but I never really saw it all strung together yeah. at once, so. So this is directed by Robert Eggers, of course, that's why I just mentioned The Lighthouse, because he directed that as well. Mm -hmm. And this, I really wanted to rewatch it again, but I kind of knew that I was getting it for Christmas, so I kind of weighed, I was kind of like savoring it for when I actually yeah. get it for Christmas, um, so I could watch it, and it's after Christmas, so it kind of sucks, but um, yeah, we just watched it, yeah, I got the Blu-ray for Christmas. So... I always like I have a weird mood when I want to watch this. Like yeah. when I learn when we learned about the colonial stuff in <laughs> school, I was like, oh, I really want to watch The Witch right now. Or um, we read a book, The Scarlet Letter. I'm sorry if any of you have to read that at school because it's awful. We just, just looked at the notes. spark notes. Just spark notes. Spark notes. It's all so the time. it's such a bad movie. But like that book. kind of made me want to watch this movie as well. So yeah, I really want to rewatch it. We just did, and um, so let's first talk about. I kind of want to talk about how it's all... You said that you've seen clips of it, but you didn't know how it was all, like, strung together. Yeah, like, I didn't see the whole ending part. I didn't see... But I saw, like, the main, like, big parts. Yeah. So, I like to see... Usually in movies, I think about near the end of the movie, I think, like, oh, if you go to the beginning of this movie and then cut to the end, it's, like, crazy because you see the difference of, like, what happens. I saw that a lot with um, Hereditary because it's, like, you know, they're... Uh, Pray happy family. I mean, the grandma just died. This is a spoiler review also. I just spoiled Hereditary. Well, no, that's in the that's in the trailer in the description. But, uh, yeah, this is a spoiler-filled review. This came out in 2015, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. If you've already seen it, then it's fine. But, um, so, at the beginning of, like, a movie like Hereditary, it's fine. And then you skip to the end, and it's, like, all craziness. That's kind of like this movie. At the beginning, they're, they get kicked out of the town, or they're banished from the town, from the church. And they go to live by themselves. And it's also sunny at the beginning. Like, when they're outside, like, chopping the corn stuff. Um, it's sunny out. And then it's after, after it gets past that, it's all cloudy. Once it gets into, like, winter. Yeah. Winter, more fallish, like, September, November-ish. Yeah, the whole, like, the whole rest of the movie is all, um, is all cloudy. Yeah. So I like to see, not just that, that's kind of a small thing, but the progression of how they're kind of okay at first, they're pretty well off by themselves but and then at the end of the movie it's just like all mm -hmm. gone it's yeah. all gone down the shitter mm -hmm. it's like really awful for them and i like to see kind of the progression of how that went out again with you the different scenes that you saw like how it all just ties together and how it leads to the end of mm -hmm. the movie how the daughter eventually does that too yeah it Her reminded me becomes a witch i think that's like almost with every horror movie is everything and there's like small things that kind of build up to one big thing yeah but i noticed with this movie is, it was a lot, there might be Lighthouse spoilers, but it was a lot similar to the ending of The Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Like, there are yeah. a lot of similarities between The Lighthouse and this movie, like the ending where she's like almost screaming or laughing, yeah. and, but there's loud music and it's almost mute. And it's very, it's a very quiet movie. Yeah. It's not very, like, there's one part where she's just like, after she kills her mother, Catherine, she's, it's like, I thought it was mute, like. Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. just like extremely you asked me quiet. If you were like, "Is this muted right now?" Yeah, it was quiet. The whole movie is quiet. We need subtitles. Like I put them on like halfway through when I first watched the movie back in the summer because I was like, "Okay, I can't hear. I need to turn them on." But with this, like I just turned them on right at the beginning. It's pretty hard to hear them, but that's not a really deduction for me with the score because it's accurate. Like, this is how they talk. Do you really want them to... Or, like, if they did talk how we're talking right now, it wouldn't seem accurate. And Robert Eggers, the director, is all about that with this and the lighthouse. I mean, they built the colonial houses, and there's what we talked about, a quick shot at the beginning when they're leaving the town, how there are, like, like five, four or five buildings in the back, mm -hmm. just, like, colonial buildings that they had to build because they built everything for this as well as yeah. the lighthouse. And um, also, the Native Americans just going in. It's a small thing, but it's just, like... Yeah, you know, it's it really puts you in that time period. The whole movie does. The Native Americans look sick. Like halfway through the movie, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I wish they brought the Native Americans in. That would have been so cool. That would have been cool. It, it's just like cool, like things like that. Like we only Almost saw the Easter eggs, but yeah. not 
Like, we saw the village once. One tiny scene of it. Yeah. I also like the, um, the wood scenes. I thought that was, like, how big the trees are, how they do that character comparison with these far shots, like... Even when they're uh, burying Caleb, was his name? Yeah. Caleb. The son. Like, from far away, you can even tell that, like, they don't want to bury him yet because they still want to, like, see him. Oh, like, yeah. Like, they can't accept yeah. it. Like, there's just, like, great acting moments like that mixed with the scenery and the set and the soundtrack. The soundtrack was also, I thought, a strong point. Yeah, everyone complains about the color palette in this movie being too dull. And, you know, obviously we could see that. But I actually like it dull better because it puts you in that mood and how this family is just like all going it shouldn't be a colorful movie too yeah it the time period be. was not a colorful time period as yeah well. it's all gray brown just dark dull colors Very and i like colors. it i like it i don't have a problem with it that's kind of a deduction for other people for me it's fine i like it it's also crazy how the, i don't now don't take me word for word i don't is there any filter they would use to dull no, they it, use because if they didn't, then it, it looks like the mo- whole movie. You think there's like a filter on. They um parts. they filmed it with candlelight and natural light the whole thing. That's different light, but the actual outdoor scenes like yeah, no, it's all some cloudy of it looked like it was like heavily filtered when really it was just like cloudy. Yeah, that's just how it was, and um yeah, that kind of goes with the mood of it, just how dull the colors are, the setting of it. And that also kind of like when I hear about something colonial, I think of this movie. I don't know why. That's mm-hmm. kind of bad when you think of building America and then you think of this movie. But um, so I want to get to foreshadowing moments and just kind of like little things that some people might not have noticed. I feel like so many people, like some people have done analysis videos on this. We're just reviewing it. Near the beginning when the father and son are going hunting, Caleb, yeah, Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. Um, Caleb says that he was, the father was saying to like recite some of his prayers. This is something that I noticed. I have never heard this anyone else say it. It might just be me, but I feel like this was kind of deliberate. Um, Caleb says how Adam, like from Adam and Eve, the first yeah. two people, how he's like, how he's inside of him. And then later in the movie, it represents Adam's original sin when he pukes up the apple. apple. Yeah, and also how he was hunting for apples. Or not hunting, just looking for them in the woods to bring back and, you know, how he pukes it up. When... I noticed also with apples, like halfway through, like apples are a sign of youth. Yeah. Like Snow White and all yeah. that, all the folklore between apples and like Disney movies and all this like thing society, pop culture yeah. with apples. So I noticed that halfway through too. Yeah. Like, oh, maybe there's... Yeah, that goes along with the witch at one point in the movie when she turns to young after she like smashes, or doesn't smash the baby, just cuts it out and like mushes all the guns and the rubs it all over it. That was, uh, that was disgusting. A lot of, I guess, gross moments, but it was actually when I first saw this or when I was first going to see this or just watching it at home on Netflix or whatever, I was like, oh, this is going to be, like, a bloody movie. It actually was, like, kind of tame, I feel like, even though just, like, parts like that. And a lot of people say that the horror is minimal or, um, like, it doesn't show up a lot, and that's what's kind of boring about it. At one point, I thought it was a thriller. Like, when she was fighting the mom, like, oh, this is, like, kind of action yeah, thriller yeah, type. This isn't really, like, scary. Yeah. Scary. It's a lot, like, more action horror where you're not really scared. It's, it's just like kind of, like, the theme overall. Yeah. It's, a. Uh, Definitely some points of drama when there's, like, one of my favorite scenes when the dad is outside, um, what's his name? William. Um, he's outside and he's saying, like, not my children or something. And he was awesome in this movie. Ralph Ineson, 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 I haven't seen him in something any, like that. I haven't uh, he seen was him in, in any films. Yeah, the only other thing I've seen him in was Chernobyl for the Chernobyl miniseries on HBO for a little bit. Um, and... Anya Taylor Joy, I think is where her name is. I, is I don't that know Catherine? If that's, um, no, that was uh, the daughter, Thomason. Yeah. I only recognize Thomason as the yeah, actress. She was in Split and um, Glass yeah. and some other things. But yeah, they were both awesome in the movie. Everyone was, but those are the two standouts for me. She's kind of the main character, and I'd say the dad is like the next beside her. I thought Caleb was pretty good for his age. Yeah. I, thought he, he I don't think he's been in, like, any other movie, which is kind for of For the age and the role he had to take on, yeah. that's, he did really good. Especially for the exorcism scene. He yeah. Did. That was, like, his strongest point. Yeah, there are a lot of long takes, too. That was kind of with The Lighthouse, how they just go on forever a without a he, take. It's a theme that Ryan Johnson kind of has. Ryan Johnson? No, <laughs> no. no. I was thinking about Star Wars. Oh, my God. I was thinking about oh Star my. Wars halfway through. Ryan Johnson. I was thinking about okay. Star Wars. I was okay. thinking about Robert Star Wars. Eggers, ben. 
I'm seeing Star Wars tomorrow, Jeez. so I have Star Wars on my mind. And we were oh, literally my. just talking about the Clone Wars and how it's, like, relating to this year. Okay. Robert Eggers, what were you saying? So I can see how Robert Eggers, how he has that kind of style to him. Yeah. With these long things. Yeah, these long takes. Um, I only have, like, around two flaws. One of them is kind of bigger than the other one. Actually, they're all they're all small, and it won't kind of bring the score down a lot. Um, obviously, the speaking in this movie, you can't really hear. I know some people would be like, oh, that should be, if you have to turn subtitles on, that's just, that's just awful. Um, but the only thing, I don't mind that, because as I already said, that's like, that's accurate to this time period. And at the end of the credits, he even says that, like it's shown on the screen that this was based off um, folk tales, fairy tales, and a lot of the dialogue was taken from this time period. Um, but my only problem is, near the end when the dad is talking to the daughter outside after um after Caleb dies and he's like he's trying to he's trying to get out of her if he if she's a witch and she's like I'm not a witch and it just goes back and forth and I'm, I'm fine with that but I feel like he's like almost two-faced at that point because at one point he says you're the witch and then she goes and then he's like no you're not the witch and then she goes I am the witch because she's kind of accepting it at that point and he's like no you're not and then that's when he drags her inside and then he says tell it to your mother and then she goes i am not which i i just feel like that point was kind of two-toned almost to me also my second negative point are i mean i know they're kind of meant to be annoying but the two twins throughout the movie so are much. just a nuisance and they die in the end at least i'm, we pre think I'm they pretty do. sure they die yeah in the, the end. witches and the um the goat whatever at the end and it's we could presume that they're dead but yeah i get they're kind of meant to be annoying but uh they were really annoying throughout the whole thing i like the song that they sing though not like black philip not like the actual song but i like how that kind of tied the into black him being whole thing the like devil. how you think yeah. it's just like a stupid blame game like yeah. when they go on the blame game and it goes to the goat you think it's just like oh they're going crazy yeah and it's not until the end when like the goat actually is the devil yeah. himself or hypothetically would be the devil mm -hmm. that we kind of like oh that's actually real yeah along with um i kind of touched on this a few minutes ago but how um the foreshadowing with the apple um also how near the end as well the mom catherine looks in her room and she sees the now dead samuel who is the young baby who died right at the beginning and caleb and um She's like, Samuel is hungry, he must eat or something, and she's Breast going feed. to breastfeed him. And it's actually the bird, and the bird is one of the witches. And when Caleb was getting exercise, like the exorcism, um, he spoke of a three-legged dog, a raven, or a crow, whatever. Um, I don't think he even said goat, because I was looking for he that. He said a wolf. Yeah, yeah, a wolf. Um, he was just talking about that, and you know that was one of the witches when she saw him. It, she wasn't just visualizing that; th those were two of the actual witches, yeah. Caleb posing as Caleb and um, Samuel the baby. So I thought that was really cool as well. A lot of little tidbits like that that you would just kind of look over, and she's like, mm -hmm. "Oh, she's just imagining that." Not just that scene either. Uh, she's just imagining that, but it's actually you know it kind of plays a part in the role. And she's, she's not all there th throughout the whole movie, but right there, she definitely goes a bit crazy how she's just sitting there and the bird yeah. is, like, pecking at, you know. Illusions. And she, yeah. But this movie is, I don't think as insane as The Lighthouse. Oh. The light, the it's lighthouse. not as insane as The Lighthouse, I would say. No, but, Lighthouse was a lot more. I feel but, like the, the difference between The Lighthouse and The Witch, The Witch, it, I don't know, The Lighthouse kind of set the tone. Yeah. You like you knew you sensed the theme immediately going into yeah. it, like the atmosphere of the movie. Mm. The like Lighthouse I felt very stiff. This felt I felt more relaxed but at the same time, like I don't know, it was kind of an up and down roller coaster where the lighthouse you were up high at that intensity the entire yeah. time. Like there mm. wasn't a part where I felt at ease. I feel yeah. like that's the two differences. There's always that tension between those two characters, Willem Dafoe and yeah. Robert Pattinson. When in this movie, you know, it's a family it's not at till first. The end, I really. mean, yeah, it's not till the end and kinda of towards the middle when they start you know, the mom is just kind yeah. of an asshole throughout the whole thing towards the daughter. And that was also kind of a negative point, not with that, but with the dad also. William is, like, kind of with uh, Thomason throughout the whole movie. He's, mm -hmm. like, kind of supporting her. But he always says that, you know, he's going to bring her to another family, bring her back to the town. And I know a bunch, of, a bunch of stuff is going on, like, you know, Caleb got lost in the woods and all that. But he kind of, like, 
he's kind of two-toned again, and he's kind of going back on his word, and he's like, I'm going to bring her to the town and sell her to another family, and then he gets her again, like, after he finds her in the woods, and they're fine again, and then it goes back to that. I don't know. Just that was a bit shaky for me. You can definitely tell that Thomason's, like, the favorite of the children mm -hmm. with William. Well, Tom, uh, Jonas and Mercy, or Jonas and Mercy, the two twins. Everyone hates uh, them. Everyone <laughs> hates them. Even, even, um, Thomason hates them. Yeah. She hates oh, them Thomas most. definitely and also, hates them. also, um, that was kind of foreshadowing as well, because it was kind of like, we knew that she was joking when she was telling, uh... yeah. It was mercy and that that's she how was telling that she was blame the game. witch. That's yeah. how the kind of the blame clue type stuff started. Yeah. She was just that. trying to scare her, saying like, "I am the witch of the wood" or something. When mercy was later, do like, we find out there was an actual literal witch? Yeah, and she's she turns into a witch at one point as well. It's kind of small foreshadowing moments. Again, I don't know if that Adam thing that was just something that I picked up on this viewing. I don't know if it was mm -hmm. deliberate. I feel like it was, but just small things like that that he puts into this are really good that he makes essential to the plot later. Something I also noticed with um the whole, like, in the beginning where they're by the brook and she says, like, the joking and all that, basically. Like, you don't think it's going to be a big deal, but they keep dragging it on. And at first I was like, why do they keep dragging this on? This is kind of useless. Yeah. Especially when she's like, I was just gesturing and all this. And it's not really until the end when, like, the witch really, really comes into play mm -hmm. and everyone starts going crazy that you realize how big of a deal it was. Yeah. And it wasn't just, like, a silly little thing that they just decided to keep. So, I'm going to ask you, what would your grade be for this movie? My grade? Unless you have anything else to say. I mean, I feel like I'm forgetting something because there's so many things I love about this movie. Hey, guys, this is Future Me. Uh, sorry to interrupt the actual review, but I did forget to mention something in the witch review. Uh, the ending of this movie is incredible. One of the best I've seen in recent years, especially from a horror movie. Uh, it was amazing, especially the part when Black Phillip talks to Thomason. Uh, that was an amazing moment, and Ben actually said he was like, I heard there was an ASMR scene in this uh, when Black Phillip, or the devil, is whispering to Thomason. Uh, that was a great scene, and I love the part when he's like, I will guide thy hand, and that shows her walking into the forest where the cult of witches is. Um, we kind of touched upon it in the video. We were like, oh yeah, that's kind of like the ending, but we never talked about it in depth. That's why I'm doing it right now. Sorry to interrupt. Back to the actual review and just the whole mood of it i know i already said this but the mood of it everyone says it has dull colors i love the colors in it it's just yeah. this I movie really is like, like really is isn't really necessarily like a good for analysis but it's like a freelance like live commentary watching type yeah. thing where you can just talk about what you didn't like and what you liked and like what you noticed and all that mm -hmm. like there's so much of this movie that you could go over mm -hmm. so yeah i thought it was a good movie overall i'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10, 9.5, mm -hmm. around there. So we'll just go in the middle, 9.3 out of 10. All right. I think I gave The Lighthouse like a 9.5, maybe? I think you gave it... Either 9 or 9.5. I think you gave it an 8.5. 8.5? Either 8.5 or 9, something like that. I think I gave it... I think I gave it a 9. I, must, I, I, I know... I, I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. And for this movie, um, there are only two points that are kind of shaky for me. Uh, how the dads kind of back and forth, and Thomas and Mercy, not Thomas and Mercy, uh, Jonas and Mercy, or Jonas and Mercy. Um, they say Jonas, and I think that was just the accent, too. And also yeah. the accents, like, I know you can't understand them, but it's so good throughout this movie. And for that reason, I'm going to give The Witch a 9.5 out of 10. Again, those two points for me brought it down a little bit. Um, it was mostly Jonas and Mercy were kind of pushed out of it, but it was mostly how the dad... And they were kind of two-toned at some points throughout it, like two-faced or whatever you want to say. Uh, so yeah, 9.5. A lot of people don't like this movie. A lot of people really like this movie. Uh, people, I remember Simmons doesn't like this. Like, he kind of dissed it when he did a review on it. Or not a review, just did his video, video on it. I mean, um, this is every movie. And in the description, he said this was a movie that we didn't like, but a lot of other... He said, like, this was a movie that a lot of other people liked that we didn't like, but just because we didn't like it doesn't mean that it's not good. So, like, they can understand why people respect this movie. And, yeah, why a lot of people, why Robert Eggers won the Sundance Film Festival uh, for Best Director, I believe. That was in the trailer as well. Yeah. So, thank you all so much for watching this review on The Witch. This was kind of random because this came out in 2015. Uh, we just watched the movie. That's why we're doing it. Uh, so, I think it was a good first watch for you after yeah, seeing the lighthouse and seeing his robert eggers other movie uh so thank you all so much for watching this review and let me know what you think of the witch because as i said i know a lot of people are kind of either way on this um 
everyone that I've talked to, like you and some reviewers that I watch besides uh, CinemaSense, or actually two, the flick pick doesn't like this movie either. But um, a lot of people that I see actually really like this movie. Some people don't. So it's up to you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think of it uh, down below. So thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye.